Hello Tyler from Alltrack here. I just want to do a walk around video of a 2023 Alltrack AT20 HD. I'm just going to walk around the unit and point out uh, different features of the machine and uh, what you can expect from an Alltrack AT20. So right off the bat you'll see here that uh, it's a big two passenger cab. So this AT20 comes standard with a two passenger cab. Open it up here you can see we have uh, Nice suspension seats, so both the driver and the passenger both have suspension seats. Um, seats are adjustable forward and aft, come with an extended backrest. Uh, we have three point seat belts, standard on the machine. They're high vis visibility orange. Um, the dash itself, so the whole cab is a steel construction. Um, we have nice, nice adjustable uh, heat vents. A uh, nice size center console in the machine. Lift this up here. So in the center console, we have two DC power sockets, as well as lots of capacity for books or manuals or personal items. The back side of the console, we always include a uh, inverter, run a laptop or charge a phone or whatever you want to do with it. Stop in here. So one thing people don't realize about the AT20, which is actually really great, is it's very easy to get in and out of the machine. So depending on what you're doing, if you're in and out of the machine, can you know a lot during a day, um, having to climb over top of tracks and climb into a tub can really be, uh, well, it's dangerous and, and repetitive. Um, this machine is really easy to get in and out of the machine. So we have really good visibility all the way around. Um, even at the back, you know, really great visibility behind the machine. Um, lots of foot room. Like I say, I'm six foot tall. I have lots of room in this machine, even really tall. We've had guys six foot four in here and, and, and they don't have any issues at all with the machine, the cab size. Um, so the machine's driven with a dual uh, hydraulic handle. So basically one, one handle controls one track, one controls the other. We also have a single joystick option. We find this option gives you the very best in control. Um, and it's very intuitive. Once you get used to it, it's very simple to operate. Um, nice engine display. Let's turn this on here for you. So it's a color display. Uh, when the engine's running, it'll show you all the diagnostic information for the engine as well as the machine, hydraulic temperature. Um, we've got an audible alarm as well as a visual alarm. So that'll, that'll trip if the engine's either getting hot or the hydraulics are too hot or something like that. Um, up above us here, we got the all the switches so they're really easy to reach um one thing that's actually really neat about this machine is you can actually drive the machine from either side so just by flicking the driving position switch you can actually control the machine from either the right side or the left side uh the cab is built pretty symmetrical so you can easily do that um there are situations where especially with wildfire fighting where maybe they want to drive from uh, the opposite side so a helper can spray out the window um, you know, or, or other situations, you might be more comfortable driving depending which part of the world you're from. Escape hatch above your head. Stepping out of the cab here again. So we got a heavy duty bumper on the machine. Um, we we bed line it. Uh, we have light bar standards, so light bar across the and then two the corner mounted scene lights provide uh, lots of illumination for the corners of the trail. We've got multiple track options, so this machine's equipped with the 22 inch uh, symmetric all season tracks. We also have a 16 inch option to keep the machine narrower if you're looking for, uh, you know, keep the machine under or at five feet wide. Um, in this configuration, the machine's about six feet wide, so still still quite narrow. Got a heavy-duty cargo deck on the machine, which is standard. Uh, the cargo deck actually tilts, so it's an electric over hydraulic pump to tilt the deck. Um, it also has a manual bypass, so you can tilt the deck even if you don't have any battery power. Uh, integrated winch, so this machine has a 12,000 pound electric winch mounted inside the chassis, as well as heavy-duty tie-downs and a standard two-inch receiver for pulling a load. Solid rubber tires. 
the hubs themselves are actually an oil bath type so they have a metal face seal which is the same kind of seal that uh you know a high-end planetary or final drive would actually use uh, this keeps the mud and everything out of the out of the hubs uh, the hubs themselves have sight glasses so you can see anything inside there this is uh, part of the forestry package the forestry package includes heavy duty screens in front of the machine as well as protectors for the door handles and any other handle on the machine inside the engine compartment here uh, say so it's powered with a hat 74 horsepower turbo diesel we use stainless exhaust stainless intake good sized battery as you can see here you have full access to um, all the hydraulic valves so the machine has automatic track tensioning so there's a valve there that controls the track tensioning as well as the pilot control for the machine If you lift the engine hood here, you get full access to the top of the machine for maintenance. This is the hydraulic tank for the machine. Um, so we use a Vortice type hydraulic tank. The purpose of this is that uh, it actually forces the air and the contamination out of the hydraulic oil. It gives you nice, clean, um, de-aerated oil. Any fuses for the engine are located here inside this box. You've got a remote mount oil filter. This tunnel up front is for sucking in clean air. Um, I say fuel filter, fuel water separator, uh, the DC pump for the deck, as well as the windshield washer fluid. This front section also lifts up. Um, it hinges back so you can actually clean the radiator out or clean the chassis out. I'll just lift the deck here for you. Here you have the deck up. You can see that you get clean access to the chassis as well as all the hydraulic pumps. Uh, we've got a big aluminum fuel tank. The fuel tank uh, gives you enough fuel capacity for about eight hours of uh, heavy work, as well as you see the chassis mounted 12,000 pound electric winch.